quick update. Sorry I didn't upload last week. I was busy with homework and stuff, but I'm back to making videos and I plan to upload a good bit over Christmas break. Now next Monday, which is the day I normally upload videos, that's Christmas Eve. I probably won't be uploading that day. I might not be uploading on Tuesday either since that's Christmas. After all, I do want to spend some time with my family. But on Wednesday the 26th, once I'm settled with all my Christmas gifts, I'll probably upload a Waluigi Direct. And then, like I said, I might upload some more videos before I go back to school. But for now, here is today's video. Okay, so three months ago, I uploaded a video called What Would the Perfect Mario Kart Game Be Like? Basically, in that video, I put all the great Mario Kart tracks into one imaginary game. So now I'm kind of doing this with characters. Now, I did do something like this with Predicting Mario Kart 9 series. That was a while ago. But there will be some changes in the way this roster looks. So the way I'm going to do this is take every Mario Kart character that's ever been in the series in alphabetical order. Then I'm basically going to say, do they belong or do they not belong? Let's start with every baby that's ever been in there. Now, Baby Mario and Baby Luigi, I'm cool with. Put them on the roster. Every other baby, eh, not so much. They're just not as significant. Okay, so let's keep going here. Birdo is good. Bowser is good. Bowser Jr. is good. Cat Peach is bad. And Daisy is good. We don't want Cat Peach back because the clone characters are kind of a no-no on this particular roster. The Inglings and Villagers are a no for me because I'd like to view this as strictly a Mario Kart game. I don't mind them that much, but eh. Now, Funky Con, though, you know I love him, so he gets on the roster. And the Koopaling should return as well. Gold Mario, eh, not so much. Remember how I feel about clone characters. Anyway, King Boo, yes. Koopa Troopa, yes. Lakitu, no, just no. Link, like I said, I'm trying to keep this as strictly a Mario Kart thing. Wouldn't mind if he was in the game, but I guess I'll just say no. Luigi and Mario, obviously, yeah. Metal Mario, no. But Miis, oh yeah, that needs to stay. Paratroopas, only been Double Dash, but you know what? Let's bring them back. They aren't too much of a clone character, after all, they can fly. Okay, they kinda are just Koopa Troopas with wings, and I was really debating whether or not to put them on, but eh, I'll be nice to them. Peach will bring back, obviously, Petey Piranha, now that's another double dash that's coming back. And I want this dude back a good bit more than the Paratroopa, so get on it, Nintendo, I want Petey Piranha. Pinkle Peach, that's a no for me, dog. Rob, that's a yes, just to have a weird character, bring him back for old time's sake. And of course, Rosalina has become a mainstay in modern Mario games, so bring her back. Anyway, Shy Guy, yes. Tanuki Mario, no. Toad, yes. Toadette, yes. Luigi and Wario, yes. Wiggler, oh no, no, no. And to conclude, yes to Yoshi. So that is 34 characters if I'm doing the math right, which I might not be. I'm pretty bad at math. But we got room for nine more. Nine new ones. So let's get to those. Now some of these I've already suggested in my Predicting Mario Kart 9 vid, and I feel like they still need some attention. Nintendo, you still need to get on these guys. Those would be Goomba, Comic, Toadsworthy, DixieCon, and Nabbit. Now the ones from that video that I don't necessarily want anymore, Pianta is just sorta of, eh. He can just sorta of stick to being on the sidelines and Delfino Square and all that. I had the Chimp as a suggestion. He was an obscure character from Super Mario Galaxy 2. For some reason, I really loved him, and to be honest, I still kind of do. But he's never going to be in one of these games, let's just be real. And Baby Yoshi, like I said, trying to limit the babies here. Regular Yashi is fabulous enough, people. Now that leaves room for four brand new characters for this modern era of Mario, which means we need Pauline. She has made a comeback thanks to Super Mario Odyssey. So yeah, she gets a spot in the next Mario Kart game that isn't going to be named Mario Kart Tour. I absolutely guarantee it. Maybe she even gets in Mario Kart Tour. I don't know. Next, we have Piranha Plant. I mean, if he gets in Smash Ultimate ahead of our beloved Waluigi, surely he gets to be a character in Mario Kart, right? Then we got the Hammer Bro, who you could switch around the colors to become a Fire Bro slash Ice Bro slash all that other stuff. And finally, I got an idea that you might love, but you also might hate. It would certainly be interesting. Remember Irock, this guy? What if its giant hands drove a cart? Wouldn't that just be fun? So anyway, that's the roster. What do y'all think? Who am I missing and who of these guys doesn't does just does not belong in your opinion? 
What would your list look like? Please let me know in the comments. Also, have a safe and happy holiday, and I'll see you guys after Christmas, hopefully with a lot of new video games. Bye-bye.